Yo, chat, what's up? I was bored, so I decided, hey, yo, I'm gonna stream a bit. Let me make sure I have all my things turned on. And some things turned off. <laughs> I'm gonna get that in a bit. I just. Actually, do you wanna see my statue real quick? I've been trying to practice statues because I like them. There's something that makes me extremely angry with this one, though. You'll be able to tell immediately. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, this week is going to be a bit iffy for streaming. I'll try to stream as much as I can, like always, but... There's a slight problem called my sister has a friend over all week. And I really don't want to stream and then have them come downstairs and scream my name. <laughs> And then I'm screwed. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's the amount of times that I have perfectly muted my microphone to avoid someone saying my name is actually quite large. Or you know, I don't want to have to all oh my freaking Yeah, like I was saying. So, it, yeah, you'll be able to tell immediately why I'm mad at this, at my statue making skills. <laughs> it's just, it looks normal for like the first three seconds, and you look at it again, and then you realize exactly why. I'm still just waiting for the rusty gear SMP to open. Okay, so here it is. It's a, it's a nice little jackalope, right? It has it has a little blush mark. Look at that. It's cute. It got the little variations. It has a cute little tail. It has a nice base. And it even has the antlers. Now look. It's off-center. It's freaking off-center. And you can't move them. Why? I will literally kill. Please. Let me move. Let me move it slightly to the left and it will be perfectly centered. Like slightly to the left and slightly... Wait, is that the left? To the right. I am... And slightly forward and it's perfect. But I can't. It makes me angry, but it's it's cute. It's cute. I, I kidnapped a bunny. Let me try to find the bunny. Because I let it go, so it should be right there. One of those two. I think it's this- yeah, it's this one, because I hit it. Multiple times. It's this one. Not this one. See, because that one has- Yeah, it was this one. Because I hit it. Because I'm a good person. But yeah, it was that one. And I had in it like a glass cage, and I replicated it. I- I'm pretty proud of this. I know a lot of people can do a lot better, but... For first time statue, I think it's good. Hi, Era. Uh, as you see, the stream started four minutes ago, so it's it's going. <laughs> but yeah, 50 hours, Dane. Yeah, isn't it so cute? I added the little blush. I, it's adorable. It took me, it took me a while. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Cry. <laughs> But yeah. Stretch. 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 
Yeah, I have no idea what my plans are. T I was just sitting there, and my mom's like, yeah, we won't be eating for, like, another hour. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. So I decided to stream. E. Yeah. Make a cool statue. No. <laughs> I hate them. I hate the wolves. <laughs> I'll make a wolf pup statue. Also, that would mean I'd have to use two separate, at least, blocks. <laughs> Those are both sca- Why would you do me like that? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no need to call me out like that. <laughs> Um, because I'd have to put two blocks right next to each other for that, and that means I have to carve them perfectly together. And, uh, pain. Pain. That'd be so painful. <laughs> now, I'm telling you right now, the anvil's going to be scarier. <laughs> Like, the wolf? The wolf, it'll kill me, it'll set me back. The anvil? My my bitrate. Down. It's okay, it's okay, Era. I'll do it once I'm better, it's just I'm sticking to one block ones right now because... I'm bad. <laughs> oh, right. Just had the temporal storm. I'm just sitting here now, just like... Yeah. Wait, is the double-headed boy still there? No, I think he despawned! No, he was so cool! What is it? Medium. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Ba. 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 In fact, I'll probably actually use the five dollars that F <laughs> shut up <laughs> that, that Indom critter donated to get a, another webcam. <laughs> and then you can see my beautiful face again. <laughs> but spring break is coming up pretty soon, so I should be able to stream more, which means more content. Nice. Oh, yo, look! It's glittering. It's cool. Which means more content from yours truly. And probably longer content. Yeah, new webcam pog! Let's go! I'm also gonna try to get some more, like, memory space for the computer, so, you know, I don't die every time I use an anvil. Because <laughs> when I pull up... Here, I'll literally pull up Task Manager and tell you, like, what the percentage is. Yeah, Vintage Story is literally taking up... 40 f Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Okay, around 45% of my CPU. Like, all this time I thought it was like the streaming, but no, it's just because I'm streaming on top of it. <laughs> the anvil is a meme, but like, I don't want to have to deal with the meme. <laughs> Like, I'll go to use the anvil, and I'll, like, go away from it, and then go back up, and then go away from it. Like, I'll, I'll still make fun of myself with it, but I just want to actually be able to play the game without it kicking me out. Also, it'd be nice to be able to play with my dad. <laughs> yeah. Also, it'd be nice to be able to play with my dad 
and not have to be and not be able to tell immediately when he starts using the health hammer by my bitrate going down. And the thing is, is that Vintage Story is actually, like, the graphics and everything don't actually take up that much space. The problem is actually it loading everything. Because there's a lot of different... Because Vintage Story is a very detailed game. So it has to run all of those things, like the clock for the temporal things, and also it's a clock for other things, and the clocks for the seeds, and things like that. That's what's taking up so much space. If I could find a way to reduce that, or to just get better memory, or like a memory card, every, all those problems would be solved, like, immediately. In fact, I'm gonna- it's nighttime, I'm gonna look up how much that would cost. I- I opened Google and my performance dropped <laughs> to red. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm searching it up, like, memory card. Like... I should probably search up computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're actually kind of expensive. Well, they're not expensive, but, like... Yeah. So, like, what I'll probably end up doing is buy one. Yeah, Ram does have some play into that, too. <laughs> yeah. So, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna buy one. And what I'm gonna do is... I have a bunch of pictures on here. I'm just gonna transport all of them onto the memory card. Like, everything except for, like... Steam, Bluestacks, Streamlabs, Vintage... And... My Google thing, and, like, one picture, because I use it as a reaction image. Actually, no, I can get rid of it. Like, everything but that and Discord, like, is just gonna go onto it. That way I can use them when I want, like, everything else is going on there. Everything else. Which will probably make it so I can actually... So, the idea is to just get rid of, literally, is not to fix the fact that Vintage Story takes up a lot, but to get rid of everything so the fact that it takes up, like, 40% is, like, nothing. And then I'll work on fixing this. <laughs> and how much it takes. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it down to like 10%. 10, 20%, that's the goal. That would be really smooth streaming. Like right now, this is really smooth because, well, I'm literally just sitting here pointing one way. It doesn't have to calculate a lot. Like, for example, when I'm facing forward, it's, like, in, like, the perfect range, where it's, like, below, like, 16, constantly. But, like, if I move around, like, that's gonna jump. <laughs> I, I'm gonna copy and paste that into Google real quick. Let me just... <laughs> copy and paste that real quick. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> you know what? For a good 
Yeah, that's actually pretty cheap for like an actually decent one. It's actually decently expensive for in US dollars, but it's not like, you know, really bad. Oh, is that the sun? Finally. Finally. It's like not horrible. I'd say it's about the cost of a PC like the one I'm using right now. Which is pretty expensive, but if I have that much money to use on a graphics card, I can probably buy a better computer and the graphics card, and then boom, bam. I don't have to worry about everything getting fricked up. Yeah, I still- Also, talking about um, the Rusty Gears SMP, which is an SMP I'm trying to join, um... I still haven't heard back. I, I literally sent like a formal email, <laughs> and I haven't heard back. <laughs> So, that's- that's fine, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna wait until it becomes, like, really light. That way I'm not, like, going around. Because, <laughs> like, the drifters are all gone now. Let me just search it up again. <laughs> but yeah, there's just I'm trying I'm trying to get into it. It's 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 vintage story server. Like I could honestly care less of That sounds bad. I don't that I'm trying to find a way to word this that doesn't sound mean, because I'm not meaning it in a mean way. But just, I don't really care, like, who's in it. Just the fact that, like, there is one that I have a potential of joining is just really fun, because, as you probably notice, I struggle with... I talk to myself all the time, but when talking to Chad, it's a bit different. So, like, the fact that there will be other content creators as well. Like, just... would really help and like then I could still you know be on my own in the server but like there's other people there that I can like bounce things off of like I've always thought that my streams with my dad are always more entertaining because you're not just getting one person's perspective on it you're getting more than one person's perspective on it because it's me and my dad Kind of like that. You're getting more than just me talking to myself and to you guys for like an hour. <laughs> You're getting two people talking to each other and to the chat. <laughs> so it's a lot better. But there's still, you know, the problem of I may not get in. Especially since a lot of them are actually pretty decently popular. And... In fact, the person we, the reason I even found in the first place is my dad he used for a windmill guide. I didn't use a windmill guide because I'm savage like that. With, is in it, and I was sitting there like, I'll try to join, like, why not? And, and I've invested way too much emotionally into this than I planned on. <laughs> so that's fun. Like, every time I get home from school- In fact, I don't think I checked today. I don't think I've checked in a while. I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. I'm gonna get inside- Oh my gosh, can they stop spawning right by my freaking house? First it was over my bees, and now it's over there. By my pit kiln. I- 
Let me feed a little uwu, and then I'll be mad about this. Wait. Oh, no. Little uwu's good. Little uwu literally has bushes that are ripe. Wait, is little uwu alive? Yeah, little uwu's alive. Okay. <sighs> Just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it feels a little... What is the lore I have with this series? Well, you see, um... The lore I have for this series is... And so, yeah, that's the basic rundown of the lore. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have to find it out yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, I upload things to YouTube. You won't, you won't miss out on anything if you accidentally miss a stream. They're connected, I'll tell you that much. But other than that, I uh, can't give away any more hints. I want, I want you to find it out on your own. That's the whole point. It would be no fun if I just told you. Like if I just told you, like, what'd be the point of that? You'd know exactly what's going to happen. The whole point of this is to test my limits as someone who can roleplay, and test your guys' limits on how much you can handle. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's not what I was- that's not what I came here for. That's- that's a good thing. Yeah, no, I still haven't- I still haven't- Yeah, I'm- I'm looking at the scent. I, I'll, like, read- I'll read it aloud, like, what I sent. So... So, I... Went through, and if this ever wants to load, and what I did is I found out- who started it? <laughs> I found their email. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> sent them a message. <laughs> if, by, like, the, like, by, like, Thursday, or Wednesday, if I haven't heard back for them, from them, I'm gonna leave a comment on their latest video, so, maybe they'll see it then? <laughs> it's... <sighs> okay, so... The header is Rusty Gears SMP, right? Okay, it's loading again. It's loading again. It hates me. It hates me. Oh my gosh, I opened the Google and... It... Oh my gosh, 25% of frames skipped over the last two minutes. That's not good. Okay, I opened it up, right? And here's my first mistake. I sent it through, like, the mail app on the on the computer, and on that, it asked me for my first name, and I didn't want to put my first name down, so I put it as Uwu. In my actual Gmail, I have it more, as Marcellus, but it stays as Uwu in the mail, so it says Uwu, and then my email, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> also, it's my personal email, so that might be bad as well. But, um, it says, so yeah, the header is Rusty Gear says in P, and it says, Hi, sorry to bother you. Immaculate grammar, by the way. I never use this good of grammar on anything. But I wanted to ask if there would be a forum for people wanting to join the SMP. I'm interested in joining, but don't know how to go about it. If you could message me back, that would be very appreciated. And then, you know, my Twitch handle. Like, you know. Like, you know how you go, dash, your name. I did dash my Twitch handle. And I think they might be scared, because they just see the uwu showing up. Which is 100% valid. But yeah... I'm suffering. Because, <laughs> like, on one hand, if I can get into this, like, that's other creators who have been doing this for way longer than I have. And are way better at it. And I get, like, to, I don't want to say piggyback off of them, because I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my own content if I do get into it. But, like, I'm able to, like, kind of work with them. Which is, like, a not only a huge learning experience for me, but also just... What the frick are they doing up there? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I... <laughs> but that it just not just be a huge learning experience, but also just... I'm gonna go through the... 
I'm gonna go through the portal. I've wanted to do this. Okay, I keep getting sidetracked because I'm nervous talking about things like this. I'm always nervous when I'm talking about things I'm passionate about because I feel like I'm bothering people when I'm talking about it. But, um... 38 followers, it's a good rap. Okay, yeah, but these people... But I don't think you've seen my subscriber count on YouTube. And these people have, like... Here, I'll literally pull up one of them. <laughs> Who might be a certified kitten ticket? And also, they're all adults. And I am, uh, very obviously a minor. <laughs> so that might also play into it. They might also be just uncomfortable with having a minor on the server. Which would make me sad. <laughs> But, yeah, just, like, it just, because, like, first off, like, not only just being able to be with other content creators. Like, not only to be with other content creators who, like I said, have been doing this, like, way longer than I have. But also just the fact that other creators, like, marketing, like, I don't want to say marketing, but marketing. Like, let me pull up, like, the person who started it, right? They have a thousand and four hundred and forty subscribers. Let me pull up the other person that comes up first. Actually, wait, no, that's the one I just looked at. My bad. Now the person who started it. Actually, the person who started it does not have. I don't want to say doesn't. They have more than me. I can't. Say, I can't say anything. They have more than me. That's. Also, there's like a bunch of other malefactors. So like, yeah, and this person has 645 followers. Another person here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the way they're facing. 180. And also they're all they're all they're all in the UK. They're all in the UK. <laughs> and then the and then another person has 2.9k. And then uh let me find the person that uh is the whole reason we got introduced to this. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> there it is. I, I, I see the tree. Okay. 2.03. Yeah. Yeah, that's Raiden. Yeah, Raiden's Pog. I love Raiden. I consider Raiden an online friend, but I don't know if Raiden, you know, also considers me an online friend, so, like, I haven't asked. I used to play on the server that he has a lot, but I don't really anymore. I don't know why. I guess I just kind of... Well, the thing is, is that people stopped playing on it, and a large part of the reason why I played on it was to get that social interaction from other people who also play the game. And then there's also the fact that I wanted to dedicate more time to streaming, which meant that I couldn't spend as much time on the server because I didn't really want to go, hey, can I stream on your server? That just felt rude. So, I just kind of eventually fell off playing on it. But, like, if Raiden, like, reached out and asked me to do, like, a series with them, like, frick yeah, I'm down, 110%. Like, no questions ask, asked, what's, what's, the, what's the IP address? Get me in. <laughs> Actually, I should probably try to get some. I'm live. But yeah, I haven't talked to Raiden in a while. Like I said, if Raiden, like, wanted to, like, just talk, like... 
110%. Raiden's pretty cool. I just feel a bit intimidated by talking to Raiden. Because, <laughs> like, it's very obvious he's, like, way better at this than I am. So I just feel bad whenever I talk to him. <laughs> Also, it makes me feel like I'm just not putting in enough work. Because, like, the amount of, like, how long his streams are just makes me feel that, like, because, like, the thing is, is that, like, I'd 110% be down to do, like, really long streams. But then there's the problem that of, I'm a kid. I can't really do that long of streams. <laughs> Yet. I don't live alone. That'd be kind of an inconvenience to literally anyone else in the house. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> and it just makes me feel like I'm not taking this seriously enough. So I just feel bad. Why is- why is the kid so here? <laughs> and plus there's also a thing called school, which means I can't stream as often. <laughs> or as long as I'd like to, because I- have to go to school, but when summer happens... Oh, when summer happens. <laughs> Especially since then, a lot of the times in the summer, it's just me and my dad. Definitely a lot more streams. Definitely, probably at, l probably at least five a week. I don't want to say daily, because stuff happens. Like, I'm saying it happened pretty often. We'd have streams pretty often. I have gotten, like, no seeds from these trees. That's that's not a good thing. I need seeds. I need to replant them. <laughs> Streaming calms me down as well. Especially since it's, it's not really a controlled environment, but it's kind of a controlled environment. Where, like, it's it's like in real life, if I get uncomfortable, I can't just leave. What the frick is chromium? It takes steel to break? Excuse me. What the frick is chromium? <laughs> but, like, if I'm, like, in real life, and something makes me, someone says something that makes me uncomfortable, I can't really do anything about that. Like, I can leave. But, like... I don't want to seem rude. But like, if I'm streaming and someone says something that makes me uncomfortable, I don't have to listen to them. Yeah. Well, the thing is that I want to make this my job in the future. This is what I want to do. So I feel like I have a chance to get a head start. I have that chance. And I've already taken steps to do that. It's just I feel like I'm still not taking it serious enough. Which I know it sounds weird, especially considering I already have a donation. A lot of people at my age spend years before they even get close to that. But... I still just feel like I'm not doing enough. Because I have a horrible habit of comparing myself to others. Because, like, I look at people like Tommy and it, for example. He. And I know he's older than me, but he still, like. I'm just scared that I'm not going to be able to reach that, and I know that that's like a one in a million thing. 
to happen. And pff, honestly, like, that's amazing. And but I'm just like scared that I'm gonna get to 16 and I'm just gonna be stuck in a rut. And honestly, that scares me. <laughs> I know, I know, I shouldn't compare myself. It's just kind of a human thing. I'm probably doing a lot better than I give myself credit for. It's kind of your, your own worst critic kind of thing. Like, to me, I might be, like, doing horribly, but to someone else, I might be, like, doing amazing because I've already gotten a donation. But it's just... I just don't feel like I'm doing enough. Oh frick, I'm... I forgot to pay attention to my hunger bar. <laughs> and there's also the fact that I just don't feel like I just really deserve that donation. Like... It's just... I know, it's just... Ugh. And I don't mean to, like, just rant on about that. But it's just kind of the fear that... I don't, like, really... Like... At the same time, I'm angry with myself for not trying harder. And... Doing more to get more followers and things like that. And then I'm also mad at myself because I don't think I deserve the amount of followers I already have. <laughs> it's just like a never-ending loop. If I get a follower, one part of myself is pleased, and then the other part of myself is like, Yeah, but did you really deserve that follower, though? And it's just kind of like an infinite loop. It just never stops. <laughs> I've burned out many times over things like that. Honestly, the one thing about myself that I actually pride myself on is... Once I start something, unless something really bad happens, I will most likely see it through to the end because I'm too stubborn to give up. I know, I know, and I'm actually pretty happy, it's just, you know, everyone has those times, and I guess I just have a bit more than others. <laughs>
Okay, so what I want to do is make a ch is be able to fill up my charcoal pit so I can get charcoal going, and then I'll probably go over to the trader see if he's buying charcoal. <laughs> I have way too much charcoal. <laughs> Charcoal. <laughs> but yeah, charcoal is one of the best ways to make money in this game. <laughs> Dana and I wanted another seed from that. If I got another seed from that, I could plant a more. <laughs> this is probably enough, but I got an extra seed, which means that I can start replanting this area since it was mad at me and didn't give me any more seeds. <laughs> wow, my windmills are really going. Oh, that was quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> Wait a minute. There was... There was something there a few minutes ago. I just stopped and was like, Wait a minute, there's something there, isn't there? No, it's gone. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> It survived? I was not expecting that. I need to get more wood still. <laughs> I hardly even made a dent. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Normally I'm more talkative, I just didn't really know how to continue the conversation after, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the depressing <laughs> discussion. But yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to fill up the charcoal pit and I'm gonna take well, first I gotta light it, and then hopefully I can get to the point where I can get some more gears and the clothing trader. I really want to get more clothes for winter, that way I don't freeze. 
Also, just more gears is also nice. Is just always nice, no matter what. Cause like, gears literally are the currency of the game. So like, you can. It's just always good to have as many as possible. <laughs> Because then you don't have to worry, like, oh no, there's, like, also, like, tapestries and things like that. Have lore connected to them, and also they just look cool. Also, paintings. Expensive, but also... They look really cool. <laughs> but I don't have an artisan trader around. So I'm probably not going to get a painting for a while. <laughs> I think that the morning dawn, the fort, what is it called? Give me a second. This. This one's my favorite. Because, like, look at it. I love it. Oh, it's sold by treasure hunter traders. Well, I don't have one of those either, so... <laughs> Honestly, all of the paintings are good. They're just like the cool little things that are in the game that just make me extremely happy. Because it like shows more detail. Also, it's just pretty. <laughs> but I'm, I'm honestly a sucker for like small little details. Like they don't even have to be important. Like, just give me extremely small details that just aren't important at all, and I will be very content. <laughs> like, even if it was made as a mistake. Like, let's say, for example, in, like, an am animated show, like, a character's arm is burned, and then in the next scene, it's completely healed, even though no time has passed. Like, the amount of memes that can come out of that alone is just amazing. <laughs> The holy in-between frame has healed the arm. <laughs> Just like, it's great. And it's like, small little niche details like that, that a lot of communities bond over, like... There's always going to be like, a middle ground. No matter like, what type of fandom it is, that everyone likes something. And it can be something as weird as... I don't know, like... These two characters protect, like, or we just like the fandom itself, like just small little things like that can make like just a huge difference when just exploring the fandom. Why am I taking to oh? I keep forgetting to eat. <laughs> I get too caught up in what I'm saying and then I forget to eat. <laughs> And <laughs> I take damage. <laughs> but yeah, just being able to bond over just silly and stupid things with people online is just really nice. And like people that you never thought you'd be able to even just talk to because of differing opinions. And then you find out you like just one thing. Both of you. And that can really just make a friendship. And it's great. <laughs> like, the amount of people I've met online that, like, if I had met them in real life, like, I would have just avoided, like, the plague. Is just... <laughs> insane. Or just, like, the amount of things I've learned from people that I never would have learned if, like, I hadn't liked this one character in a game and started talking to people about them. It's just really cool what just having certain things that you like does. And people can be friends without having things that they like in common. Sometimes you can just enjoy each other's company, and that's also just amazing. Like, I have friends that I have, like, literally almost no interest in common with. And it's <laughs> still just fun to talk to them.
yeah, the, there is actually a chat box right there. It does. It never fills up full enough for you to see how big it actually is. And then I'm planning on putting, once I get a webcam again, right above the chat box. And then down here, probably having, like, a follower goal or something. Or once I become an affiliate, like, a subathon goal type thing. Subathon goal, that doesn't make- a subathon thing. I'm planning on adding more and more as time goes on. It's just not full right now because, well... <laughs> well, it doesn't look full, but... Honestly, a good part of it's taken up by the chat box. The chat box is actually huge. It's just there's not enough people talking at the same time for it to be full. <laughs> there was one time that it was full, and that was pretty cool. And also just like at school, like I'll just see things, and then I'm going to say something, and I'm sitting there like, people are gonna know. <laughs> like I've done things, and then I sit there, I'm like, wait a minute, no, because <laughs> like I've said things that will like tip people off to the fact that I stream, and I'm not embarrassed of it. It's just kind of embarrassing when people you know in real life find <laughs> things like that without you telling them. Because you'll just be sitting there, just straight up vibing, and then they'll go, hey, I found you on Twitch, and just like, oh! Yeah! Yeah! And then you panic. <laughs> Or like, for example, in my English class, yeah, it can be a life-changing experience, yeah. And like, in English class, I was doing my project because that way I could use streaming to get grade point, to get a grade. I talked about just like, how different things can get you different follower amounts. And then I accidentally had something in the video, I don't think any of my classmates noticed, but I had something in the video that w that had my YouTube channel name. And when I tell you, I literally started sweating bullets in class because like over half those people, like they know me at school. Like I'm, I don't talk a lot at school unless I'm around my friends. Like I'm a very quiet person at school. And like, I'm sitting there just sweating bullets because like a lot of these people are just sitting there like, yeah, like, you're like the calm, collected person that sits, go, gets decent grades, and is like a very nice, non-troublesome person. And then they'd like go and see like what I'm streaming. I'm just like live. I live in fear every day that I'm gonna get one of them who's gonna show up on Twitch. <laughs> in my chat and just spam what high school I go to. Because I've now given them the power to do that on accident. And I mean, they also be telling everyone where they go to high school, but still, just the fact that they have the power to do that and I accidentally gave that to them is just terrifying to me. Because <laughs> there's nothing I could do. Yeah, and just... Like... I trust you, Era. You're not gonna suddenly show up at my house if you, f if you like. You're not gonna go through like dark web, find out where I live, and show up to my house. Mostly because you live in another country, but still, <laughs> but, like, there's people that like might genuinely do that, and that kind of terrifies me. <laughs> And 
And just the fact that I might have accidentally made it just easier for them if, like, a person in my old, in my semester one English class decides, you know what? Frick you. And just searches up my YouTube channel name. Finds out what my Twitch is, because it's very easy to find my Twitch on my YouTube channel. That's the whole point. And then just freaking goes into my chat when I go live and just spams, like, my full name. Or something like that. Like, they could just straight up do that, and I couldn't stop them. And, like, there were definitely people in my first period in my English class that did not like me whatsoever. Back to chopping trees. <laughs> Wait, I put one of my maxes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Era. <laughs> Yeah, the second the second I become affiliate, because you can set the delay, I'm going to get rid of it. Even if just for you. <laughs> and I could ban them in chat, but like then that tells people that they're telling the truth. <laughs> and the only reason I would have to ban them is if they've already said something. I'm not going to see the username and go... <gasps> I know who you are. You're that person from school. You're probably here to sabotage me. Like, I'm not going to know that. And, like, where I go to high school, it's, like, a large area. So it's definitely going to be, like, if, even if it does get leaked, like, it's going to be hard for people to find where I live. But even then, it narrows it down. And that's just terrifying to think of. Because, <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter if I'm extremely popular or not. People are going to see that I am a child <laughs> on the internet. And that where I live has just been leaked. They're not going to go... Hmm. You know, this... Eh, like... That's just not the way the internet works. Like, the chances of it are low, but it's still, like, just terrifying. <laughs> Where's the Saltpeter Cave? Is this the Saltpeter Cave? It wasn't Saltpeter. Now I'm sad. Is that water? Rift activity is calm. I'm gonna go down in the cave. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my stuff first, then. And if I do become popular, like, the chances of that are, like, just increase.
Do I not have a pickaxe? There's one, but shouldn't I have an iron one? I'm literally in the Iron Age. Do I not have an iron pickaxe? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Actually, let me drink this, and then I'll go fill it up more so I can get the most out of my jug. Ah oh, yes, because when I too drink juice, my hunger bar fills up. <laughs> I mean, it's tin bronze. It's gonna be able to mine practically everything. Like, I'm pretty sure the only thing that you can, that you actually just need iron, or like you need just like you can use just iron for is meteoric iron. <laughs> Everything else you can use like, it requires like steel or you can just do it with bronze. Which I find extremely funny. <laughs> I'm starting to regret this already, let's go! I don't like that. I'm getting the cave sounds. I don't like the cave sounds. <laughs> the cave sounds freak me out. <laughs> it's even worse because there's locusts in this game. And like, locusts are like genuinely terrifying. Like in Minecraft, the scariest thing I'm gonna run into is a zombie. Like a baby zombie. I hate this. <laughs> but, like, that doesn't apply in Vintage Story. Like, you could legit just run into a freaking, like... Yeah, no, I'm leaving. You could practically run into a spider with a freaking saw blade on its... on a half that has a tail with a saw blade on it. Poor copper, but it's an underground deposit. I'll mark the cave when I go out. Oh, uh, does it go straight down? Mm, cave sounds. Yeah, no, I don't want to die. I'm not that stupid, thank you very much. <laughs> I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. But I mean, underground... Is that silver? Okay, I'm leaving. You don't have to play the scary cave sounds. I mean, hey, we got silver. I'm considering that good. And we also found an underground copper deposit. Albeit it's in a terrifying cave, but underground copper deposit. <laughs> I just don't like the cave sounds. <laughs> The cave sounds scare me. I cry. <laughs> okay, I have some... Tr I 
I have some charcoal. I'm going to go to the other trader, see what he's selling. I don't need this right now. I mean, it's always good to have a sword on you. <laughs> yeah, once once this runs out, which is going to take a while, I'll update. Because they, they replaced it, and I don't know if it'll like just replace my lawn sword with, with it. Or if it'll just glitch out my lawn sword. And then I just lost like a whole bar of iron. I don't particularly want to lose a whole bar of iron. Like, I have a lot. But I still don't want to. <laughs> Wait, why did I mark an underground copper deposit? I have plenty. Well, I guess that is the closest. I'm still going to delete it, though. I have plenty of underground copper. Well, at least ones that count as underground copper, so they're huge, so... Is that fundy? <laughs> it's not funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pete. I didn't know there was Pete over here. Uh, that ruin's always going to stay there. I'm never going to get rid of it. It's just... It, it doesn't leave, okay? <laughs> I died there like three times, or was it that one that I died at like three times? There were too many wolves. I, I blamed the wolves completely. <laughs> Luckily for me, I killed all of them. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to attack me, and I was just like, okay. Don't know what I did, but okay. Okay, this is good. I have a lot of sticks. Like, you needed some sticks in, like, the old version. But now you need, like, all of the sticks. Or you will, in fact, die. It's like a tax, like, to be able to breathe. Except for, like, instead of, like, useful things like money, it's just sticks. Like, oh, you want to progress in the game even slightly? You're going to need, like, five sticks for that? And that's a lie. It's way more than five. No, 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 no. We do not We do not look underwater in video games. No. <laughs> it's so stupid, because I have no problem with, like water in real life like looking under if i'm like in a river or like like it'll be a bit disorientating but like other than that i'll be fine but in video games no i just don't like the way it gets really foggy <laughs> which i know it does that in real life too but like just no just no It's just not okay. <laughs> Cause like, look- Okay, this isn't deep enough, but like- Okay, I need to find something that's deep enough so I can show you. I need to be able- I can justify it, I swear. <laughs> I'm not the only person. Oh my gosh, there's a spot I never get deeper. Okay, like this. Like, look! Look at that! That looks so eerie, I don't like it. Like, at least in real life- Like, in real life, I think the problem that- what separates it from real life is that in real life you can see, like, things floating around in water. Like, you can see what's happening. Around you. But, like, in games, it's just empty. <laughs> I got jump scared by the traitor. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't mock me! Chad, I just got mocked. <laughs> Did 
you want me to turn it into 12 for you? Apparently he does, okay. Ten gears, okay, that's nice. We're buying some... Hmm. Okay, do we have enough? We have th Oh, that's good supply. Okay, so we buy that. We can only afford one of those. <sighs> oh, I can go buy it back and get my leather and sell that too. Oh, he also wants the honey, but I don't think I'll get my bull back, so... It's gonna be a no. So he... The demand is five. So I'll just bring back all my leather and then... Stonks. Mmm... <laughs> Which one's scarier, the anvil or the traitor? <laughs> the answer's yes. Both are terrifying. I like how in every single game, I set my eye color to, you know, green, because that's my eye color in real life. And then on the freaking server, I set it to blue on accident. I... <sighs> Anger. I can't reset it. Well, I could, but I'd have to change my class, and I don't want to do that. I'm fine with being a malefactor, thank you very much. <laughs> Honestly, if I had... If there had been, like, bleh, if, when I first started playing, if the tailor was an option, I probably would be a tailor instead. But, uh, wait, I'm gonna take damage. But since there wasn't when I started playing, I'm a malfactor. Plus, I guess now tailor would be a lot harder to make the lore that I made with. That is a lot of copper. How did I not notice that before? It's like, that's a disproportionate amount of copper. I should probably read chat. Exactly. You see, I've read the Call of Cthulhu. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near that water. <laughs> I see an island in the middle of the water. Oh, frick. With any type of buildings. Mm -mm. I see an air conditioner, I cry. I see shiny fruit that's glossy and has different colors, I scree. That glows with colors never seen before on Earth. Ten times, apparently, as well. I know, like, Dane. A lot of colors no one's seen before on Earth. Me trying to think of the other <laughs> stories so I can make fun of it more. Uh. I see fish people. That actually be pretty rad. Can I join them? Can, can I join their cult? <laughs> I mean, they look they look a bit weird, but like. 
I gotta live underwater. Pog? <laughs> Yeah. And I'll say I like foraging and stuff like that, but like, if the tailor had been out when I started playing, I, I would have chosen it. There's, 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 maybe I would have still chosen the malefactor because I like the mask, but like, other than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, I mean, Vintage Story is literally based off of, like, the lore of Vintage Story is literally based off of Lovecraftian <laughs> horror. So, I mean, it's not too far off. <laughs> For all I know, there very well could be something in water, and I just haven't seen anyone encounter it. Or they might have just added it to, like, one in every hundred games just to frick people up. That sounds like something they do. <laughs> I love the Vintage Story team. I swear. <laughs> I just find it funny, so that's the things they do. <laughs> eh. I will not get jump scared by the traitor. Okay, I can buy 16 more, which means this. Okay. It's actually not bad. Okay, I have decent stuff. Let's go. Wait, it only costs three, right? I could probably buy another. Until I find Halite, this is my only way to get it. Yeah, it's only three. Yeah. Perfect. That's a huge supply. If I had more gears, I'd spend them all on it. I I really like I really like salt. <laughs> like I don't even have anything I can use it on. I just know that it's good to have, so I bought a lot. <laughs> Like I just sit there and I'm like, someone's like, why do you why do you have like ten things of blank spice? And I'm like, because you never know. That is a wolf. Uh, uh. Now, now I disappear. <laughs> It's like, you never know when you're gonna need, like, a really weird spice. <gasps> oh, frick! My bad, bro. I just wanted some sticks! <laughs> Sorry! Is it still chasing me? I can't tell. Yeah, it's still chasing me. I'm not gonna die to a wolf here. Not again. I would, this would be the sixth time this area in particular never by my house I don't think I've ever died to a wolf by my, no that's a lie once actually pretty good at not dying around my house in my game but like there like I died so many times not again. Like, that is literally... I'm not crazy, right? That is a disproportionate amount of copper for that hill. 
There's more. What? what? I'm not complete. Oh right, I. <laughs> Never mind. I realized why I had a mod for that. Oh, there's more copper. I went the wrong way. But I mean, what? Medium. Not bad. Nice. Yeah, my superpower is having way too much copper. <laughs> Okay, it was eaten by a fox. You can tell when it's a wolf because it says large bite marks. I'm smart and memorized that. Like an idiot. Ah, <laughs> oh, home sweet home. Yes! I have all four now! Wait, that is all four, right? Yeah, that's four. Like, I don't have these two, but like, those two don't really give a lot. So, plus four, plus two, plus three, plus three. Nice! Wait, what does that add up to? Give me a second. I'm bad at math. Okay, so that's, that's three. That's three. Let's count all the threes first. That's six. And then that's also six. So 12. That's plus 12 Celsius. Just more in them. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna smelt down all of my copper <laughs> into bars so it looks more impressive. I'll use these, because they're not in my... I have room for you in my inventory. Go in my... Oh, I don't need them. I have nothing better to do than that. Also, I'm going to put my halide stones in here. But all 48 of them. I, I have a problem. Okay, let me... That'll just stay on me. It's gonna die soon anyway. I should probably make more tool racks. It's literally just six sticks. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, that's most of them. Okay. Wrong thing. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go juice my uh, cranberries actually real quick. It's calm, so I'm good.
saying it disappeared again. Who's does that? Now I have four jugs full of cranberry juice. <laughs> the dream. Do I even have enough ingot molds for that? I only have one. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just do 20 at a time then. It'll be a waste of charcoal, but it's not like that's a big problem, really. I mean, I could start it out with... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go... Man, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, Era. <laughs> a stick has the same range, attack range, as a freaking iron lawn blade. I hate everything. How does that even make sense? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> That's why I'm angry. <laughs> I'm gonna make a frick ton of ingot molds, actually. All the ingot molds. Only ingot molds. Molds are actually really easy to make, so it's not like a big problem. And now we do it again. <laughs> actually, it'd probably be quicker to just actually use the small boy one. Yeah, it is. Huh? <laughs> 
I don't think I actually... How many... Okay, I have five. Okay, and one more, and then... My character gets to sleep. <laughs> realize that technically me and my dad's characters in our game are technically sleep deprived because they haven't slept for like a year. Because we, we don't have beds in that game. They haven't slept for a year. Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. Let's go to bed. Get out there so I don't die. What time is it actually? Rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah, there's never enough. Hey, it's finally done. I'm breaking these candles. The candles can go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Should be enough. Perfect. Now I just need to go get my grass from my chest, and then I just... Grass. There we go. And I have my sticks on me already, so I'm good. One off. Mm. Okay, let me return this to its spot. this to its spot. I can do another one now. That I, I could just use the one peat because that's actually bothering me that it's just... <sighs> <sighs> 